hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination so in our last lecture of collection series we discussed about linked list implementation of list interface and prior to that we discussed about array list as well in case you are not already familiar with what is array list and what is linked list and when to use array list and when to use linked list i'll request you to please go back to my previous video which you can use to understand uh, gain some understanding on array list and linked list as this is most widely used uh, collection uh, during writing the code and it is most widely asked question during the interviews as well so let us move on to the next collection in the series that is set so in case we want to store the unique elements so for those purposes we use the set collection so as set falls under um, java collection framework so as we know <coughs> we have iterable which is the root node then we have collection which is extending the iterable interface then we have a set which is extending the collection right so as i have mentioned that set is used to store the unique elements and this is the interface so we need some concrete class so we have hash set so hash set provide the implementation of this set interface right now uh, using hash set we can store the unique values but there is a downside of hash set it does not maintain the insertion order so whichever way we are adding adding the values into this hash set it won't maintain the order so what if we want to achieve the insertion order maintenance as well so for those purposes we go with the linked hash set right and then in case we want to maintain the sorting then we go for the tree set which comes by this hierarchy so we have sorted set which is extending set then we have navigable navigable set which is extending sorted set these are the interfaces now we have tree set which is providing the implementation now let us try to understand all three and what they are using internally so hash set actually uses hash map internally and as it is using hash map internally that's why it is not maintaining the insertion order because hash map also does not maintain the insertion order and linked hash set internally uses linked hash map that's why it is able to uh, implement uh, maintain the insertion order because linked hash map also maintains the insertion order so uh, hash map and linked hash map will be covering in the next lecture there you will get more understanding how they maintain the insertion order and all right then comes tree set so tree set uh, uses um, tree data structure internally to maintain the sorting order that is ascending order okay now uh, let us uh, jump on to the hash set so when we want to store unique values but we are not worried about the uh, their order then we go for the hash set now let us uh, uh, go by the demonstration so i'm going into the project uh, uh, so i have created one class and having one main, main method so let us quickly create the object of hash set string hash set of string i'm creating right because i am going to store the uh, list of uh, sorry set of un uh, unique values so what i will do because now i have created the object so the next thing is i need to assign it to some variable so for that purpose what i'll be doing set of string and then let us give it name names right now as we discussed that it uses map internally let us try to confirm the same so you see it is using the hash map right now uh, what we will do now let us try to understand its unique properties so for example i am adding prints right and i'll re-add prints right and now i will try to print this so names right so you see that it is adding or containing only one value it won't care about how many values we have added now the next thing is it does not maintain the insertion order so for that purpose what we are going to do so let me replace it with amit and give it name names dot prince amit rakesh and uh, likewise sumit and let us say ishan right and let us give one line to read it actually unordered 
names using hash set right now we will try to print it right So you see, uh, it is not maintaining the insertion order. Ishan was added last and Prince was added first. So it is not maintaining the insertion order. Now let us move to the linked hash set in order to maintain the uh, insertion order. So I'll simply copy paste this and replace this with linked hash set. And let us, before moving on, and let us give it name ordered names, right? And uh, ordered names replace it with order names and let us give it name ordered names using linked hash set right before we move on let us try to understand what it is using internally so as I mentioned this is the object and when I go for super which is the calling of parent so it is initializing the linked hash set hash map in this case so this is why it is able to maintain the insertion order now let us rerun it once again so we will see uh, that this is unordered and this is ordered meaning it is maintaining the insertion order so prince added first so prince is appearing at first amit is adding second it is appearing at second right now what if i want to maintain the uh, sorting order so for that purpose what i will do simply I'll copy paste this and give it name sorted names this time and replace this with tree set because tree set uh, is responsible for maintaining the such uh, like sorting order so I'll simply replace this with this and let us give it name sorted names using tree set right and uh, let us print the sorted names as well now let us run this so you see that it is now maintaining the insertion order first of all this is unordered this is ordered the way we are adding and this is sorted one so a is coming first then i is coming uh, after it then p then r and s this is how it is maintaining the insertion order i mean sorting order sorry right now let us comment this and let us discuss about the uh, like iteration so uh, yeah, i just simply want to show you sorted names dot get so actually it does not maintain the indexes so we cannot use the normal for loop in this case okay so what we are going to use so the first thing is we will be using the enhanced for loop so i'll simply copy this what is this this is set of strings right and so in in enhanced for loop what we need on the left side we need the um, the data type which is stored in this set so i have simply this is set of uh, names and this is one by one it will be served here uh, so from here to here like it is having for example five elements so first will first element will be served here and it will be stored in name and likewise the rest of the element will be done like this right now this is one way right to iterate it so we will see so it is iterating like this right now the second way is using the iterator because uh, set also falls under the iterable interface and iterator is the method of um, iterable interface so we can use iterator as well so how to use that so first of all i'll simply call this sorted names dot iterator and as it contains set of string so what i will do i will create iterator of string right and uh, let us say give it name unique names or let us give it name iterator uh, very simple now what is next so first thing is we need to check whether this has this particular set has value or not so using has next which is which returns boolean it will return as true or false and then we can use uh, the next method iterator dot next what it does it prints the values right one by one so it this will check whether it has value or not and this will print the values so now let us run this so we see that we are able to iterate this so this is what i wanted to cover as part of this uh, set lecture set collection lecture i mean and uh, 
let us quickly recap in case we want to store duplicate elements we can either go for link list or array list but if we want to store unique values then we go for set and in set itself if we want to store unordered data uh, then we can go for um, uh, linked hash uh, sorry hash set and in case we want to maintain the insertion order we should go for linked hash set and if we want to maintain the uh, ascending order of sorting then we go for the tree set thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe thank you once again